Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Hey, kids. I'm Q the Costa Rican and today we're back with finally back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked Battle Stadium singles 3v3s. How y'all doing? Hey, kids. New season just dropped, guys. New season, same rule set, same mons, nothing crazy going on. They didn't they didn't let us use the ruined Pokemon yet, but they will next month. So, uh, with that being said, um we do have a bit of a slightly uh, meta team with Max Caliber and Iron Moth. Someone I heard someone somewhere say that Iron Moth is like top four or five in usage right now. I haven't like looked up the stats, but I will like when I go to edit this. And um, also a little, just to break the fourth wall a little bit, we did actually do two battles before we, uh, well, I recorded this intro, then did two battles, DC'd in both of those, changed the team. And now we're back here again. So I just wanted to let you guys know, because I'm kind of a transparent guy, you know what I'm saying? I like to, I like to keep you all in tune. But regardless, Young Bax, you already know him, you love him. Fluttermane, same shit. Sylveon, we love this Sylveon. This Assault Vest Sylveon tanks hits. Dishes them back out in a uh, in a good way. It, it gets kills. That's what that's what that's what you want in your Pokemon and your tank to uh, knock out the other guy as well. Guard Chomp is a new thing we're trying. Scarf Chomp, uh, Jolly Max Max. Uh, basically, what I want to try and pull off with this thing is just to get some intel on like uh, common like counters to Guard Chomp, common th like some damage some damage rolls we're gonna probably end up seeing because when the Ruined Pokemon come out, I do think that either Terra Fire or Terra Water. Garchomp is gonna end up being like really clutch to deal with two of the offensive ruined Pokemon in Chiyu and the uh, Ice Boy. So that's kind of why uh, we're trying them out now, just to just to foresee something. Is it necessary at the moment? No, it's not, and it's probably really bad to choice lock your Garchomp at the moment. But we're still gonna try it. Uh, last but not not last, but uh, yeah, I guess last but not least, because we already talked about Iron Moth, Cloyster. You know him, you love him. The Fizz Def answer to most Bax Calibers can deal with Bax Caliber and. Uh, Dragonite all in the same go. Done it before. I'll do it again. Um, could also just deal with, I guess, like a blanket check to like any other like offensive water type. Like I got I, uh, Azu, I guess. I haven't really seen Azu a lot, but uh, Azu, I guess. And then yeah, last but not least, we have the homie Iron Moth, our booster energy user with the dual stab plus energy ball, which could be really good. You know, Terra Grass to not die to Earthquake because otherwise you will get plus 1,000 by Earthquake. And then uh, agility to maybe late game sweep if you know there's like a flutter main in the back or something faster like bundle or something of that nature. But that being said, this is the team that we're going to be taking on the brand new season with. Let me know in the comment section down below if, uh, oh no, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what teams you guys are using. And uh, let me know how your rank runs are going. And for that being said, enjoy the battles. All right, and here we are with the first battle of the new season. We see a lot of Bax Caliber counters, and by a lot of them, I just mean... Uh, the duck and the washing machine. But, um, let's see. They, could they lead Mudsdale? They definitely could. I, person, <gasps> I personally like a... Damn, what do I... I guess a Sylveon lead, huh? If they lead Iron Moth, I'll be a little, like, sad about it. But I think we'll have to deal with it. I like Garchomp and don't like Garchomp here, unfortunately. So I'm thinking it's gonna end up being Iron Moth. And we might have to Terra Grass it for sure. And then I guess Cloyster, but also not, because it looks pretty bad against the guys it's supposed to stop. So I'm going to hope they go, like, uh, Mudsdale, Iron Moth, um, I guess we'll bring Fluttermane in the back. I don't know. All our special attackers, I guess. All of them. All the special attackers. Will we get rolled by Iron Moth? Find out next time. Or today. Find out right now. Who knows? I saw somewhere that... Iron Moth hella increased in usage for some for whatever reason, right? I have no idea why, but it did. So uh, I have one on my team, they have one on their team. And, you know, so far that's a lot of usage. And they lead off with the Brute the Bonnet, though. So this is pretty good for us. Uh, we should outpace them. We can click Hyper Voice. If they Terra Fire, then we know that they're Terra Fire. So that's pretty good for us. So yeah, let's just Hyper Voice. If they want to go hard into Iron Moth. Oh, they Spore and they're faster. So they're maximum speed invested. Okay, that sucks. All right, this is what we're dealing with, guys. This is what we're dealing with. Well, I guess good thing is we can. Yeah, I don't know. We can. Uh, we can go in a Iron Moth after Trailblaze. All right. He's going. Oh, we woke up turn one. You'd love to see it. Nice. All right, sick. Good job, Sylveon. Let's go. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say we could. We could later go into um, Iron Moth, and then. Um, Terra Grass Agility, if they got like two or three Trailblazes up. 
and then, uh, you know, go from there. But we don't even have to now, so that's pretty cool. So the Rotom Wash is in. I could definitely get some chip on it. Just really good. This looks really like really good chip, so I'll just get some chip on it. They discharge. That ain't doing shit. That did nothing. It parried at me, actually. Do we get the Hex? We don't get the Hex. Sylveon, proven why it's a Series 2 threat, or Season 3 threat. Whatever the fuck series we're in. Oh, uh, that did nothing. Hello? Are you, like, AV? Sylveon. Rotom. Wash. I assume you might just be max HP. That might just be max HP. No, that's... That's that's some spadef, man. My man got some spadef investment. Hydro Pump. That won't knock me out either. Good job, Sylveon. Hell yeah. My man got some spadef investment. Um, so I think... Uh, we'll just quick attack here. Good chip. Puts him in range of everything. Uh, so now there's no fairies on their side. So Garchomp. Did I bring Garchomp? No, I brought Fluttermane. I brought Fluttermane. Or I could go Iron Moth and Fiery Dance. Set me up for success. Which is what I think I will do. And then we'll keep Fluttermane Sash intact. Just in case anything gets crazy. Like in case like uh, the um, the duck comes in right here. You know what I mean? But yeah, I think Fiery Dance should definitely knock this out. Regardless of what they do. Because they're so low. So let's just click it and get some good hacks on our side. Not hacks, but let's get some good RNG on our side. And uh, get the plus one. Free plus one, free plus one. Anybody, anybody, anybody? No. All good. We're still good. Because if they do go the duck, we can Terra Grass and Terra Grass them. Um, and if they go, yeah, if they go the, 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 the horse, we can also Terra Grass them. And it's 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 one of our own. So good thing we have Psy Shock on our guy. Um, I am going to probably Fiery Dance in the off chance that they Terra Grass. I guess they could also Terra Water to be like counter to them to themselves. So I guess I'm actually going to Sludge Wave. It's the strongest move we have to hit each other with. Uh, we also see that I'm faster. They're going for the Fiery Dances. Okay. No plus ones. Thank God. Uh, why do theirs do more? Hello? Oh, because they're modest. Alright, no, I'm gonna fire dance then. Since we're doing stuff. Let's do it. Let's dance together, brother. Hey, we got it! Do they get it? We're just, we're just some dancing Iron Moths. Iron Moth is definitely top five in usage, guys. Hey, we both got it! Alright, so this is fine. Uh, what's her face always, uh, clutches up, so I'm not even worried. Sludge Wave might even just knock out here. Yep, Sludge Wave would have knocked out. Let's go. Iron Moth. Proven why it's top something in usage. Somebody said somewhere that it was really high up. I don't remember what it was, though, but regardless. Good good stuff, Iron Moth. All right, we see a really fun rain team. This actually looks sick. This, this is very, very um, extraordinary. It's also very, like, anti-Iron uh, Moth tech, which is pretty cool. Um, we do see Scizor, which is a little unfortunate. Um, Mimikins could be a thing. I like leading back's caliber, regardless of what's going down. Just because I can Ice School Spear the Mimikyu. That's really the only reason. I don't think they lead off with it, though. Honestly, I think they would lead Pelipper. But this, this, is, this is just as good for that. Because uh, it'll be neutral. And then, I think Cloyster's going to go a long way here. Because of the bear, the scissor, and the fish. And, man, that, that Ursaring is looking threatening. But I also... I also really like Garchomp. Will they bring the rain? I feel like they will. This is definitely deterring me from going Iron Moth. Ursaring looks really funny. Uh, I think we're going to go Garchomp for this one. Three completely different Pokemon than the first battle. That's actually funny. First we brought all our specials. Now we're bringing all our physicals. Will we regret it against the Belly Bolt? Probably. But I feel like Garchomp is necessary. They could definitely get some like rain boosted muddy waters off against me. But I don't know. And also locking myself in an Earthquake is really not the best play because they have a bird that they definitely are bringing. But if they lead off with a bird, that I'm fine with that. I can just dance. I wonder if, um... They do. Okay. I wonder if Bax's Caliber outpaces uh, Bear Tick after, like in the rain if I get a plus one up. Level 50. In the rain. Um... Wait. It's not Swift Swim. Swift Swim. 
in the rain, it hits 204, and I would hit 228. That's if it's adamant. If it's jolly, it we do outspeed. So yeah, I think I actually will do that. Because I think they U-turn anything anyways here. So yeah, let's do that. I think they're gonna U-turn anyways. And then we can like glaive rush them. Hurricane! Oh, that's gonna do some damage. Not a lot. Or I mean a lot, but not not a whole lot. Uh this is where we ice school spear. And hopefully knock them out. Oh, uh, I, I think we need a I need we I think we need five and a crit. Four and a crit. Fuck! So close, man. Tailwind. I'm definitely still faster than you. So that was pretty funny. They are... Fa now they're faster with Bear Tick. But we have a switch into Bear Tick, so I'm not really that concerned. Alright, pretty cool. Mimikins would be a little annoying as well. That's not Mimikins. Mimikins has a Q at the end of it. What? Did the game just lag for a second? Bear tick. Alright. Um, so yeah, they're definitely faster now. Uh, but we have Kaloyster to go into. Uh, I guess they could click close combat here in theory. Um, and probably do a lot of damage to Cloyster. Yeah, they do quite a bit to Cloyster with that. But hopefully uh, they weren't like uh, the wet rock on the Pelipper. And then we can like be faster than this with someone else soon hopefully right or or we'll have to tear a fire uh with our with our guard chomp in front of this so thinking long and hard about this one we might dc i did do two battles before i started well not before i started recording i was recording the whole time but i dc twice and they counted they both counted as losses so a little upset about that so i think the connection is a little is a little wonky this time around or at least this in this beginning beginning stages and i just realized different backgrounds by the way high school crash all right all right and their life orb that's really good for us really really good for us so yeah close combat should not knock us out um jolly life orb yeah so we're going to chilling water to lower their attack worst case scenario they go into belly bowl but we have garchomp so not really too concerned there they do Terra here. In a what? Terra Water? Terra Fighting? Terra Fighting would knock me out for sure. Terra Water. Okay. I mean, I'm still lowering your attack. So I'm cool with that. Uh, I guess they were trying to like block Rock Blast, I suppose. Liqu I'm a what? I'm a water type, sir. Maybe they don't have close combat. Closer about the wall, this guy. Because we're going to get Rocky Helmet Chip, Life Orb Chip. There's a lot of chip. I'm just surprised that they don't have close combat or even earthquake. Honestly, Terra Ground Bear Tick would be pretty solid. Maybe not on this team specifically, but in general. But maybe also not in general because it's kind of a slow guy. I want to look at some things. Rain is up. So Tailwind's gone. Rain is up. So my Garchomp definitely outpaces it now. Uh, so yeah, we're going to Chilling Water. I do kind of want to save this a little bit. Oh, they withdraw. Perfect. So we're getting attack drop on something. Everything everything doesn't want to get an attack drop except for the belly bolt. Wouldn't care about it. This thing definitely cares. And I forgot the chilling water is Wayne. Ra Wayne. The chilling water is rain boosted at the moment. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's do it again. Because we're at minus one, I don't think we died a close combat here. I lied. <laughs> lied hard. Rocky Helmet, though. So I think we go into Garchomp, and I think we just click EQ. Because if they're not choice locked, they can bullet punch the back. So yeah, I think we just go into Garchomp and click EQ. Or, what do we do? Do we Terror Blast Fire, Garchomp, Scizor? I think they could... They, they wouldn't switch hard into uh, in a Bear Tick. I want to Terror Blast Fire, potentially... Uh, in rain should do 75 minimum and then I feel like Bax could clutch it up against the guy because earthquake against scissor for some reason says it's doing like zero it's doing 25% 
and a close combat would definitely knock me out. Let's do it. No! <laughs> Why? Why would you do such a thing? I knew I should have earthquaked. God damn it. Let's see. Hold on, let's see. If this does like 20%, which it shouldn't, because it's resisted and it's uh, in the rain. But they should liquidate here. They should liquidate here. So Bax, Bax will live. The only way I lose this is if they have self-rain right now. But I should just Earthquake win. You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Aqua Jet. Even better. Even better. That was best case scenario. So I'm going to assume they're in range of Earthquake. Just in case they want to go hard Scizor. Yep. Um, and then we just win with Earthquake Garchomp now. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Why did the calc I have say it's doing so little? It says it does like 24% to Scizor. I don't get that. But yeah, there's no reason to uh, swap out now. Earthquake just wins. Super weird. Oh, I might die to Aqua Jet, actually. Bear Tick. I don't think I... Do. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I even if I calc it, but... Life Orb... Terra Water, Aqua Jet. No, it should do only 56 to 68. So even if they... If they... Yeah, well... Actually, if Scizor is choice banded here, then I, then I lose. Because I think it'll get enough chip on me. Uh, I think it'll get enough chip on Garchomp for Aqua Jet to kill, actually. Damn it, dude. Why'd I have to terrify her? I was scared. Oh wait, bullet punch should be doing resist. It should be resisted. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We win. That did so much. Yeah, the only way they win is if they crit me with Aqua Jet. So knock on wood. You know, uh, where's the wood? <laughs> where's the wood? Let's see. I don't know. Let's see what happens, man. I'm worried. I'm con I'm concerned. We we're. Hax is a thing in Pokemon, man, and I don't want it to be a thing right now. 135. Yeah, we should we should never we should never die. <laughs> we should never die. Come on, Garchomp. Don't fail me now. Let's go! Alright, perfect. That was close, man. That was close. That was so close. Garchomp got me on the edge of my seat, man. But yeah, really cool. They added they added new backgrounds. That's really sick. I think in one of the battles I um that I DC'd in, uh, there was like the schoolyard where uh, you battle Nimona and stuff. So that's really cool that they they what took them so long? You know what I'm saying? All right, we see a D Dunsparce, ladies and gentlemen. What is the D Dunsparce gonna do? I think ironically, Bax Caliber looks like a really good lead here. Um, if they bring their own Baxcalibur, I can go out into my Cloister, I guess. Do I really want to do that? I probably do. Um, it's good for, like, the Breloom lead. It's good for the, uh, Espartha lead. So that's kind of the main thing. And then, Cloister, and then, I guess Garchomp's pretty free, once again. Ice Shard from Baxcalibur would probably hurt. Uh, but Iron Moth is also looking really good. Outpaces everything. Uh, I can tear a grass in front of the Braylon if they want to spore me and be Sash and all that. Uh, can't really switch in on anything besides the Flutter, I guess. But that's about it. I think... I haven't brought Flutter Mane at all yet. But I feel like they have a lot for it. Well, not really a lot for it. It's just the Dunsparce. And if they bring Dunsparce, that's going to be really funny. Because I don't even know what that thing does. 
Like, like, was it more tanky on the special side or the physical side? We're gonna bring Iron Moth. Let's lead back Excalibur. Let's see if lead back Excalibur can get it done, like it did all and all the other gens, all the other gens, all the other uh, seasons. Let's find out together. As friends, they might even lead their own back Excalibur, which I'll be okay with, because then I can uh, I can go Cloister, get a get a feel for what their set is, and get off a free Ice Circle Crash. Oh, look, we even get the beach. Let's go to the beach each. Let's go get a wave, they say. So I really want to dance on their protect. You know what I mean? But I feel like it would just be silly for them to protect here. Reflect. Even sillier, actually. I should have danced. So what are they going to be? Baton pass? I might dance. Just because this next one won't kill them anyways. And the next next one might if I dance. Lumina Crash. Yikes. Ah, that was a silly play on my part. Because now they kill me with Lumina Crash. Who did I bring in the back? I'm going to lose the lead of Spyda. Oh, man. Somehow don't kill me. I know that did enough for a minus two hit to kill me, but somehow don't. Damn, they did. I told you not to. I asked specifically for it. Well, then now I don't feel bad about getting those two disconnects because... I was going to say if um if we would have won this one, we'd only be like one win away from Master Ball tier. But since we're probably going to lose this one now, it's all good. It's all good, brothers. So can I afford to get greedy? I'm definitely going to Terra because I don't want to take the uh, the hit, the Psychic hit. Iron Moth to Espatha. I'm going to assume you're... Or Espathra, my bad. I don't even know how to fucking... I'm going to assume you're max HP. Just do that. That's a safe bet. Um, Fiery Dance. Looks like it would kill. So yeah, let's click that. If they're max HP. If they get up a light screen now... Well, then, then we wouldn't. But I assume they would go for the Lumina Crash, because it looks really free for them. And then we still have Cloister for backs, as well as potential uh, Mushroom Dude. Okay, they do Lumina Crash, so we should tank this pretty well. Not well enough. We're still going to die to this if we don't kill it here. Please kill it here. Thank God. Thank God for Iron Moth. Alright, so if they have Fluttermane, we might get knocked out by Mystical Fire. Um, and if they have Bax Caliber, we definitely get knocked out by Ice Shard. And it's Fluttermane. Alright, well, they have Mystical Fire. But, in the off chance that they don't, uh, we're actually gonna... Sludge Wave. Moonblast! Live. Fuck. That's Specs. Well... We're getting, we're getting a fourth battle in, goddammit. Let's just go to it right now. 12 seconds later. Alright, let's end it off with a W, hopefully. So we see some interesting Pokemon. Not a whole lot of Pokemon you see a lot. Lycanroc, Rotom Heat, Mimikyu, to name a few. Well, Mimikyu's actually pretty up there, but Tinkaton, you know what I'm saying? And then the dragons, of course. So, things we want to do. I think that Sylveon's a pretty solid lead against everything besides Tinkaton and Rotom Heat. Um, I like Iron Moth, but there's the Lycanroc. We have Garchomp to be able to switch into. So I'm actually gonna end up... Man, I wish Garchomp got Mold Breaker, bro. That'd make it so insanely good. I'm actually gonna end up leading off with Bax Caliber, I feel like. And I might I might just raw Terra Ground. <clears throat> and then we're gonna uh, have Iron Moth in the back. And then probably try to do some things with Garchomp. Although, man, Dragonite makes me very worried about life in general. So I kind of want to bring Fluttermane. Yeah, let's do that. I don't have a switch into Lycanroc. And they definitely should bring it. Uh, but let's just uh, let's try our best. I guess if we Terra Ground turn one with Brax Calibur, then we do have a Lycanroc, like a Cell Rock switch in, essentially. So that's something to think about. Maybe we can just like Terra Ground Dragon Dance on Rotom's Volt Switch. 
That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, it's Dragapult. Hey, bud. Uh, so Banded Darts Okos me, but everything else I live. Um, Specs Draco probably Okos me as well. Um, they most likely U-turn though, if I had to guess. But I do still I do still need to tear ground, unfortunately. So I'm gonna do it. They're Banded Dart. Oh, they're dancing. I mean, they're terrestrializing of their own. So they're Dragon Darting here, huh? Oh, Terra Fire. Okay. Uh, all right. I have Earthquake. Hopefully they don't knock me out here. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. I just want to live. Let me live, damn it. Let me live my life. This is actually really good for them. Terrify. I love Terrify on Dragon Ball because it resists the fairies. It resists, it resists the ice. Don't be banded. They're not banded. Let's go. Don't be Sucker Punch either. They're Life Orb. They might be Sucker Punch. Ah. I don't know what to do about that. I'm just going to Earthquake. Hope for the best. Please don't be Sucker Punch. Don't be Sucker Punch. No Sucker, no Sucker, no Sucker, no, no Sucker. Please. Let me get a kill. Let me get a kill, please. Let's go! Alright. Vax claims one. So, E speed on D Knight would kind of suck, but it's also not Terra. Or, yeah, it's not Terra. It's normal. It's normal? It's not Terra normal. So, Fluttermane is a good switch into that. And then Vax Calibre still outpaces. Uh. Just Rotom. <laughs> and that's it. Well, and Dragonite, but E speed, so. Uh, but well, let's see what they want to do. They do end. That's not D Knight. That is Mimikyu. That's Rotom. Oh, perfect. Wow. This is great. Uh, so I guess Scarf would I'll pay? No, because we danced. Yeah, so we just Glaive Rush here. They're just giving us a free Glaive Rush. Maybe they're defensive and they might try to burn me. That'd be funny. Overheat. Live. Somehow. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, I think we just get to... Who did I bring? I brought Fluttermane and someone else, right? And Garchomp, I think? Who did I bring? No, I brought Fluttermane and Iron Moth. So yeah, I think we get to go Iron Moth and Fiery Dance for free. I really hope they didn't bring Lycanroc. It's, yeah, it, I'm gonna go Iron Moth. Fiery Dance for free, maybe, perhaps? It definitely knocks out the Rotom. And we both expended our Terras already. So everything is what you see what you get. Everything you see is what you're gonna get. We're gonna try and get greedy with the Fiery Dance. They didn't bring Lycanroc. No way, right? It's, it's, it's D-Knight. It's D-Knight. And if it's D-Knight, we might not die. Let's find out what it is. I'm ready to type in the name of the Pokemon to see if I can live a hit. A Cell Rock definitely knocks us out, though. It's gotta be Lycanroc, man. The Sociable... It's Mimikins. Um, so we are going to Sludge Wave in hopes to uh, poison it for extra chip. If they, oh, there we go. See, that's what you got to go for. We called it out, and so it shall happen. Oh, and they got greedy. I don't think an SD kills us. That's hella greedy, brother. That's a. It doesn't matter because Fluttermane scarf scarf. Fluttermane is sash, so we always clutched it. Uh, we brought Fluttermane, right? Yeah. Fluttermane's uh, sash, so we always clutched it. Uh, but we probably don't die to Shadow Snake here. Let's go, Iron Moth. Hey, that's why it's like top four or five in usage, whatever it is. Let's go. I love to see it. So I mean, we won three out of four battles in the first day. Uh. Technically, we won. We only won three out of six because of the, you know, two disconnects. But it is what it is. We're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna take that in as our first video in the new season. Iron Moth is here. Iron Moth is now. Definitely gonna build some more new teams. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what kind of teams you guys are using. Uh, if you guys wanna join the Discord, go ahead and look in the description as well. There's a link down there that should always be working. Let me know if it's not. And uh, you know, share some teams with me. I'm always up for new ideas. This is not much different from la like the last 
series, you know what I mean? No new mods got added, nothing changed. It's just like, what did you want to use has changed. That's really all it is. So if you got any new ideas that you haven't seen me use, let me know and I might end up using them. With that being said, we're going to get up out of here. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.